Before we know it, families are going to get back in the swing of a new school year and new routines, including packing lunches for your kids to take to school each day. Sometimes it's challenging to find options that are tasty, healthy, and don't break the bank. Joining us with some tips is the lunchbox dad himself, Bo Coffrin. Good morning. Good morning, thanks for having me. Oh, thanks for being here. This is such a big talker because you want the kids to eat, but you also uh, want money in your pocket at the end of the day too. So what are the best ways for parents to save some money on good lunches for the kids this school year? Yeah, absolutely. I always look back at this time of year as a mid-year reset, back to schedules and new beginnings. But kids aren't the only ones who are learning. Working together with Sam's Club, we've developed this idea of lunchbox math. Just simple ways that you can make your dollar stretch further when planning your school lunches. So let's look at how you can calculate savings. So tip one is create a plan and go in the store with a list. And one of my favorite things about Sam's Club is the scan and go function in the app. So you can literally scan your items as you're putting them in the basket it'll automatically total it for you and you could stick to a budget and tip two is look for private brands like members mark that they just deliver on quality flavor and extra value my kids love these fruity snacks right here from members mark and this is where lunchbox math really comes into play so this this 100 pack right here is just under ten dollars and that means you have enough to put in 100 lunch boxes for less than 10 cents a lunch they're super budget friendly they're great for busy families grab and go and they're also shelf st uh, stable and here's another great example of lunchbox math right here this is a lunch you you can pull together for a dollar fifty which is an incredible value and by buying all these things in bulk you'll have enough to pack a month of lunches for one kid for about 30 bucks and the tip three is just transition to larger or bulk items okay how do you get creative with this because you know I'd say after about a week of peanut butter and jelly kids are like I'm gonna need to step it up mom and dad yeah, one thing I've learned is that lunches don't have to be boring. And whether you've got time to create characters or delight your kids with vivid colors, there are small things you can do to make lunch fun. And I always recommend starting with cookie cutters like I did with this flour lunch right here. And so I use cookie cutters on the bread, meat, cheese, and fruit. And most families already have cookie cutters in their kitchen. And that's an easy way to put a fun twist on normal foods. And then also you can just create simple themes with your lunch, like this lunch right here is lunch on a stick and so everything from the chicken to the fruit kebabs are stick themed and last just write a lunch note just encouraging your kids and telling them how much you love them this is something that any parent can do and your kids love it oh my goodness I love what you have going on there so cute and I hope I could do something like that um, especially the little cutout ones <laughs> so I saw Sam's in the background there my parents were true believers in Sam's Club how do you um, do the shopping there to help you plan the meals. Yeah, well, we already talked about the app, but also I love getting uh, my kids involved, 100% getting kids involved in the menu uh, process. And food waste is something we're always trying to avoid. And if they're helping to map out these menus, then you're guaranteed that they're going to eat that stuff in the lunch. For example, give them a choice of two healthy items, strawberries or blueberries. They get to make the choice and you know they're eating healthy. And so whether it's fresh, dried or canned produce, I always start the lunch boxes there. And uh, so then you could also try new types of produce to see what they're gonna eat, what their favorite things are. And don't forget about the dips because kids love dipping things. And uh, you get creative with those dips as well. Try hummus, yogurt, nut butter and more things. Yeah, it always worked that it just came in bulk at Sam's. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Thanks for having me on. Mm -hmm.